people on site here. Wow, I'm I'm pretty impressed already so early. Unfortunately, I didn't take my walk this morning, and I should have, but I'm going to do it tonight at 6.30, so I'm going to do a live stream of me walking for an hour. <laughs> and if you guys want to watch, that's your business. Uh, but I'm going to do a Facebook. I'm going to be doing my walk tonight instead of this. I, did, I was going to get up this morning, but... Um, I, uh, I said to myself, you know, Brian, you're, um, you're 64 years old and I don't want to use that as a crutch, but you know, I am 64 and, uh, um, I don't have to be doing all this stuff. Um, Okay, um, so today we're going to go over, uh, uh, we're going to do a lot of sip, a little mini things. Um, I'm kind of, um, I'm not tired today. Um, I... I went to bed early last night. Normally. Um, hold on one second. Hey, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, I need a Lamont, two Lamont sets brought in here. And also, there's a electric uh, uh, Back to the Future and Knight Rider set. Uh, uh, Knight Rider set. I want one of those in here. Okay. Because we're going to put that Knight Rider set on sale today. And uh, we're going to put that on the 1776 page. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we already had the Le Mans set. That set, I just sold one of those yesterday. Um, eight. Zero five hundred Le Mans set. Thirty nine. I only have thirty nine of those left. Wow, the Le Mans set. When those sets are gone, they're gone. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, there's several things that I'm going to do today. So first of all, we're going to. Um, uh, kind of uh, review the uh, uh, scale electric cars, uh, and I'm going to put uh, some of those cars on random sales. Uh, and then um, I'm going to then go over uh, um, the um, uh, all of our exclusives, and I'm going to tell you which ones are getting low. No, no, not the 24-hour Le Mans. I'll take that one though, too. No, it's on that when you walk into the C container, on the right-hand side, you've got them stacked up there, a little further down, okay? About two yeah, shelving units. I thought you said two 24-hour Le Mans, one back to the... No, 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 this Le Mans. Oh, scale, or SEX. Yes. Not, uh, scale That's okay, I forgive you for taking my picture and making it ugly. <laughs> All right, so first I want to tell you about... Um, uh, I've got nine cars here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars, okay, and I'll give you, I'm going to show you each one of them, and I'm going to tell you, okay, so we need, we have 19 people watching. Now, it's very important that we get 19 thumbs up. It's it's very important, okay? I can't tell you how much important, and I give people thumbs up now. Whenever I watch a video, I give thumbs up. Now, sometimes I don't. If I don't watch the whole video, if... But if you're watching, you got to give me a thumbs up. You know what? I mean, come on, man. Um, you know, I mean, come on. Did you see the picture of uh, Biden on the beach? 
I mean, that had to be, that had to be really pathetic. Okay, so, um, all right, we got 14 thumbs up. That's good. Um, all right, so these cars, I've signed all these cars, and, and they're called demo cars. Demo cars. These are cars that we've done, opened up for uh, doing our videos, okay? And I've already got these up on the website on sale, $24.99, and they say demo cars. And this one is SC385. SC385 uh, uh, dealers. Just stick them right there, buddy. I'll take care of them. And now I need the Back to the Future uh, Night Rider. And so this is a Mr. Mom's car. We've got two cars. We've got, uh, and that's SC385, and we got SC390, and that is a R R R R Riviera. So both these cars, and they're signed. They say, be happy on them. I don't know if my signature is worth anything. I, I just signed them. So you can have these and put them on your collection. If I die, you can say, hey, wow, that's uh, Brian. Did you see my son's video? Pretty funny. No, I didn't see your son's video. Did you link it to me? Um, did you send me a link? I, I didn't see. What video are you talking about, Adam? I, I linked it to your Facebook. Facebook? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> what? What? Uh, you know, don't have any clothes on. Uh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 Uh. Uh, 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 yeah, that's that her with his kids jumping on dice. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hello? 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 Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Huh. Well, I guess people maybe, uh, never mind. Uh, maybe people do want me uh, to, uh, to buy their my signature. I don't know. He did... He did that all in his own, so it was funny. Yes, I can imagine it was funny. Uh, he is unbelievable at the end. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, good morning, Eric. So these cars, uh, if you go to SC390 and SC385, SC390 and 385, these are the, the item numbers. Sessy 380 and 389, you'll see a demo car. And that's the one. I only have one. So whoever buys them, it's first come, first serve. But obviously, people that are watching the live stream are going to get them first because they're they're watching the live stream. Then we have icons. We have three of the icons, all three of the uh, SC401, SC401. 
and they're all demo cars and they've they've got a little sticker on them so uh, if you that sticker is broken you know that it's been violated <laughs> but they all have my signature on it be happy brian young <laughs> not that these will be worth any more but and then we have three more that are the off-road the Hummer, the, the uh, Jeep, and the Blazer. We're going to be doing some uh, Jeep race racing. we got to get people in using other type of cars. So these are called demo cars. I'm going to have a special tray, and they say demo car on So those are the demo cars. Now, we got in some of these sets here. And I'm going to put one on sale right now. Because I'd like to move all these sets. The Le Mans set. I had to put that back at the regular price. but I'm going to put that on sale and I'm going to put it on our 1776 page so people know that it is on sale. Okay. So we know, so you know that this set is on sale and I'm going to show the set again. Because every time I show this set, I sell a half a dozen of them. And that is the Le Mans set right, right there. Okay, the phone is ringing already. Hello? 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 Yep. Yes. Yes, Mike. How you, how you doing, Mike? Now, now let's see, Mike... Plymouth Red. Plymouth Red and White. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm, I got no, I know. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back, okay?
Okay, so uh, so this set right here, I can I can pull it down again. I, I just want to show this because it sells very well. I, it and I sold these when I was with Irwin Toy. Okay, um, we sold a ton of these sets, Irwin Toy. And uh, I'm just going to kind of walk through this set because, you know, I'm the only one that has these sets, really. I, I have about 36 left of them. That's not a lot of sets, really. Uh, but what's so nice about this set is that uh, it comes with a lot of product. And uh, the wireless hand throttle... Uh, you don't really necessarily need to use that. You can use regular analog hand throttles, but the old yellow ones. Um, so if you have an older set, you can use that. I had a guy call yesterday in order to set that one and two. And you can expand this. Feel free to expand on that statement, Steve. Let's see. Good part. Let's see, Steve. Okay. How will order next? Let's see. Uh, Robert, you missed the exact part um steve sweeney uh are we still live or are we memorex yes we are memorex feel free to expend on that statement steve great said i have one yes it comes with a chicane one chicane it comes with seven standard straights it comes with two wireless hand throttles now you don't necessarily need to use these you can uh, this just uh, snaps on top of the terminal track. It comes with uh, 10 curves, 10 borders, 10 guardrails, uh, two of the, your Le Mans cars, which are really nice, okay? Now, this set sold in 2000, okay, when it came out. This came out in 2000, which is really amazing. This sold. This set sold for 199 to 229 That's what the retail was on this set, Okay. And uh, uh, I have these sets uh, standard for 169 because I'm getting low on them. I'm raising the price to 179 but I'm, I'm putting them on sale this week, 1776 sale for 129.99. okay? Now I've had these all over the price, okay? But right now they're on the 1776 page. Uh, if you want to get one today, uh, you may do that, uh, and I will allow you to do that. Um, just remember that Brian Young is very gracious, and I do things because of my customers. And uh, let's see here. Let's reload that page, and let's see. Yeah, that 7076 page is, is up, and it is on sale now for two one twenty nine. Uh, so this is a great set. Now we have another set that we're going to be putting on sale today. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to take it out of the package box. And I'm going to actually uh, bring it over here. Now this has an intersection. So uh, an intersection will allow crashes to happen. Now I don't necessarily get the connection between uh, the Knight Rider car and the Back to the Future. There's no correlation to that at all. It's, it's not even a similarities. Uh, but uh, so why they would put that in a box I have no idea. But um, you're getting uh, the Back to the Future Knight Rider set. And what it does is it comes with uh, Back to the Future, some extra guide blades, uh, the Knight Rider car. So you're getting both of the cars Okay, inside, and that's the original from the first car movie, Back to the Future, Marty McFly. And you're getting both of these cars. Uh, you get a lot of straight track, but here's what's really cool about it. I'll show you here in a second. Let me. And. 
and uh, let's see, that is item number C1431. Let me put that on sale first, 1431. So uh, let's see, um, go over here, got to go back over here. Now, I already have these sets on sale. Um, but I'm going to be putting these on sale for $159. Um, so you're getting these at a very, very low price. And these are $159. You get uh, basically, this was a standard figure eight set back in the, in the early 2000s. Uh, but this comes with an air section. You get uh, a, a, sh a mini chicane here, and then you have, and then with an extra track pack, I recommend buying an extra straight track pack. Um, you could uh, expand this layout and make it a little bit bigger. Um, but um, that's a great starter set. You can add that to any other set you wanted to, uh, and you would still have a great set you can actually uh, buy this set and this set and then buy a converter track which is eight uh which I'll, I'll go get that hold on a second that's that's really smart right unbelievable You could buy one of these, and then you'd be able to add this track to the uh, SCX track. And this is item number uh, C8222. C8222. And that's your converter track. Warriors, the 18020s. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, guys. I got to grab something here. Let me turn the camera so you guys can see me, see what I'm doing. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough of these, um, and I do, and that is the item number uh, 8C8222, which is the converter track to convert this new sport track to the original uh, SCX track, which is the black connector. So that's why I tell people, hey, Buy both of them. 
Now you've got a layout that will fit on two sheets of plywood and then buy all the analog cars I have. I've got, listen, you know, people can go into detail. Well, how big of a layout do I want to do? I do a four lane layout. You know what? I've been doing this for 25 years now. And I'm telling you one thing. One thing guys like to do is just to build a layout and then a road course. And then just set up a, a, a trees and buildings and everything. And, and this is what you do right here. This is it right here. Buy yourself two of these, one of these, one of these, and now you've got, and then you have all these cars that I have, which I've showed you in other videos. All you have to do is go to my, my older videos, and you can see all of my older videos, and you, you can see the potential of what you can do. So the Knight Rider set is on sale. The Back to the Future, or the... Um, um, The uh, one fifty nine. That's a steal, really. <laughs> you know that I now I think about it. Um, and then we've got um, these. Uh, um, let me show you these cars really quick. 143rd scale. And we've got plenty of 143rd sets, uh, Carrera. And you can use them on scale electric, compact. Uh, we have four cars that we got on sale. And that is the, um, the Minion. So if you got a kid that wants to play, what's 132nd, Steve? I'm sorry. Yeah, let me come back here. Sorry, Steve. So, this is 132nd, okay? So, you have basically three scales. All right, let me get all three scales here so everybody can see them. All right. All right, so there's three major brands of scales if you're going to do slot cars. And it really depends on the size and the area that you want to contribute to your hobby. Now, that's not saying that you can't do a really nice 132nd scale layout because in Spain, everybody has a 132nd layout. And what they do is they'll just set it up for the day and play with it and take it down. And that's what a lot of Spaniards do. They don't leave it up permanently. They just set it up and then take it down. And that's 132nd. Okay? That's a 132nd track. And your scale of your cars. And so here are the three different scales that we sell, the most we sell. And uh, there is some 124 scale for Carrera because the Carrera track is about an inch wider or about a half inch wider than the scale electric. So this is a, uh, this is a, uh, 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 basically the different scales that you could buy if you want to go into slot cars. You have one, uh, 132nd, one, one, uh, 43rd, and then HO, which is, it all goes from 187 to 164, okay? So these are the different scales that you can race or want to race, okay? Now, I always tell people that if you have two sheets of plywood, which is, which they are huge, yes, they are big cars, yes. Usually two sheets of plywood will do any type of layout, no matter what size you are. You can do a beautiful 
a layout on two sheets of plywood with 132nd. You can do a great layout with 143rd, and you could do a huge layout with HO. I always tell people, it all depends on how much size you want. Now, three foot is the minimum. Three foot is okay for here. Three foot you still could do here. This way you'd be pushing it. But a four by eight sheet of plywood is perfect for this and this. This one, you're going to get a little limited. Now, that's not saying I have a many manuals on Spaniards making mini layouts on mini tables that are multiple layer. You don't have, we don't have basements here. Then that's fine. You don't need a basement. All you need is a bedroom <laughs> or a garage. See, garages are not for cars. Now, what my dad did is, my dad, or my stepdad, I call him my dad, Mac Miller, I wanted a railroad set, but I wanted to be able to set it up. Well, so what he did is, we built this table. Oh, it was a sheet of plywood. And we reinforced it. And then he made a pulley system that I could pull it up into the ceiling when I'm not playing with it. And it hung there. And then when I wanted to play with it, I came over here and I lowered it down. It had legs on it. And I layered it down into the, into the garage. And I, and I would set it on the garage floor. Because my <laughs> Mac was really funny. He would always build weird... Uh, when, he, when he built his house, he only built a one-car garage. That's what was so funny about his house. His house was the only house on the street, Guston Avenue, that had a one-car garage. <laughs> a one-car garage. That was so funny. But he didn't think that you needed a two-car garage. Heck, most people back then didn't. They had one car. Everybody had one car back in the 60s. Because he built that car in 1965 or 63 for $19,000. So if you've got room, those are the three scales. And uh, we have plenty of these cars. Now, Carrera is the only one that's doing these right now. Now, Scalect or SCX in Spain is trying to bring them in the U.S., but uh, you got to buy from China, and I'm going to have to pay the shipping costs, which is just going to be unbelievable. And uh, uh, let's see. Uh, cars never see garages. That's right. Uh, and then this car is 132nd, and then this is HO. So you have all three cars, and we sell a ton of this stuff. Uh, we have a ton of 132nd scale cars. You know, I always wonder, you know, why am I not selling 132nd? And people say, well, you don't promote it enough. Listen, I promoted it tons of times. Now, I am going to do something on Thursday, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spill the beans, okay? I'm not happy with the four lane layout that I built up in upstairs in the shed. I'm just not happy with it. I want to do kind of, I want to be able to show people that you can make different layouts and I love to build different layouts. And I'm going to start doing in the fall. I'm just going to start building layouts. I'm just going to do, Hey, here's this layout and then take it down and then build another one. And take it down and then build another one. Uh, old ping pong tables are great because they're five foot. Uh, took apart and turned the boards a long ways. Works, yes. Old ping pong ping pong tables are great, actually. We have, because you can fold it up like this after you're done playing with it. Um, my grandfather took one car to work, uh, but... One day a week, my grandmother drove him to work so she could do have the car for the day. Yes. Most people did. Most people all had one cars. I know my Mac, Mac all, we had one car all through the 70s. Now, I got a car from my aunt, uh, a Ford Mustang, was I was able to drive. And that was my car during high school. And then I know my sister, I think, drove Mac's car. See, Mac was a rural carrier, and he would get a free... He would go buy a new car every two years because he would put 100,000 miles on him in less than two years. Okay, so getting back to that, I hope I, asked, I, hope I answered all your questions on that. Uh, do they have a lap counter? Uh, yes and no. They do have an electronic 
Uh, it's not a lab counter, but it's a speedometer thing. And it's actually pretty cool Cool by Scale Electric. Uh, and that will we'll work on that, uh, on that Le Mans set. I'll show you it here. It's called the Electronic Speedometer. And it basically uh, um, tracks the um, mile an hour speed of your car. Okay. Now, this is 2000 technology. These came out in 2000 and 2001. Actually, let's see what year. I think this was 2001. The Spaniards loved electronics. 2000, I knew it because th this was the last item that we had. And then they, the speed of the speed of meter is eight, eight, Oh nine. And then the, uh, uh, there's another one electronic timer, the electronic timer. Okay. Displays late, uh, dual lane display fastest lap. And this is item number, uh, eight, eight, three, 10. And this came out, I think in 2001. 2002. This came out two years later than this one here. Okay. This came out first in 2000, and this came out in 2002. Electronic uh, timer. So these are just an addition to your track. Do you have that set up on the garage track? Let's see here. Do you have that set uh, uh, that set up on the garage track? Y2K compatible? Yes, Y2K. Is it is the 1776 sale over? No, there are there are uh, items still appearing on the 1776 blowout on the front page, and we're adding items to that every day until we hit 1776 or 1777. This is called the Special Brian uh, Great uh, Mayor, uh, United States of America 1776 sale. And we have these Carrera Go Cars and we've got four Carrera Go Cars, we, or three. We have this uh, race car, we have this one, we have this one. We have, um, yes, you can, if you can wire it, you have to do your own wiring. Okay, so that takes care of that. So we basically have, uh, now what we want to do is we want to go down through our. So we have the Back to the Future set on sale, and we also have the um, Grand, uh, the um, the Le Mans set. We sell about one of these a day, it seems like. <laughs> okay, so let's go over some of the cars because Daniel's going to be sending out a report about um, how our, how we're doing on some of these cars. Uh, the, basically, the Batmobile is sold out. That's our first. That was our one of our exclusives. that came out in 2021. And then our pickup truck. Uh, this is getting very low, and this is CP7779. These are very, very low quantities, okay? Very low quantities. And then we have uh, the blue, uh, the blue and the black nomads, they're gone. This is what I tell people, you know, I, I, right now I have plenty of these right here. But now in two years from now, these will all be gone. These will all be gone. All these will all be gone. Less than two years. I don't have any of the black Bel Airs. I don't have 55 Bel Airs or Nomads. I don't have any of the Blurple Nomads. Those are gone. 
So next thing we have is CP7, 7817 and 7819. And that is the no uh, 55 Bel uh, 57 uh, Bel Airs. These are low quantities. We're telling you low quantities, okay? Low quantities. CP78 and 79, black and the blurple. Then you have seven, uh, 7819 and 78120. And these are the 57. Now, some people say they're 56. These are, uh, and these are extraction, and these are the 57 nomads. Some people say they're 55s. Or 56s. Uh, but these are the Blurples. And the uh, black. And the white. And these are CP7819 and 7820. And these are low quantities also. The next ones are CP78. Oh, hey. I meant to tell you. We finally got approval. They finally got approval, Auto World did, of the Badman car. We are, uh, they finally approved our license, and they're now in production right now. They're going into production this week, actually. Because, actually, I think they're already done. But they weren't allowed to ship them because uh, the licensor was telling there was one thing wrong with it. But they've got the approval. And so the Badman, the Badman Bel Air is coming. That's so exciting. How much? $79. No, just kidding. It's $34, something like that. All right. Now, the next two, which um, we are not low on quantities, um, but they're, they are selling quite quickly. And that, and that means that I would say by the end of next year or even this year, these could all be gone too. And that is... The Ford Mustang, this is, we sell one a day of these now, okay? The Ford Mustang and the Shelby Cobra, the blue Shelby Cobra. And this is CP7827 and 7828. 7828 and 27. See, the thing about Auto World is they, what they really like about me is that I'm helping their production. It's keeping production up in China, which is great. Now, the other one, which is extremely low, this, I don't even know how many we have left of these. I think we can only have a case of these. And this is probably one of the most popular ones we did, which is CP7829, which is the Charger US uh, Dodge Charger Daytona with uh, Pro Tinker Toys, 1962. That was my that was my age when this came out. Wow, that was uh, two years ago. Holy cow, 62. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful car. A lot of people love this one. So those were the original exclusives from 2021 and 2020 actually 2021 actually no 2020 was that 2021 yeah 2021 10 of 2021 wow now the next cars which um i'll just tell you the one from oh let's see there's what uh i'm gonna do you want me to throw the stuff in the back of your van away what stuff I don't know, I thought oh was... over down the, yeah. the, the city dumpster yes okay that'd be a good idea and then your keys are my keys are on the uh this the uh, food thing in the car okay and then i'm gonna go to the warehouse and bring in all yes the, the case of that okay so we basically have one two three four five six seven seven eight nine ten 10, 11, 11 items. And I'm going to tell you uh, what number they rank in that 11 from one to 11. So the first one, which we'll say that is, is number one, the number one selling would be uh, CP7903. 
which is the white with um, uh, red flames, white with red flames. And that is the number one selling. So this is the lowest amount of quantities we have is this one right here. The second one <clears throat> is the red with white, and that is CP7901. That is the second lowest number of quantities we have in stock. The third one would probably be tied, tied with these two, which is 79112 and, and 7996, which is the um, uh, Motorific and the Ford GT. And these are all Pro Tinker only cars. And then the car, the, the next two would be, these would be a tie because we sell probably one of these a week. And that is, actually one a day, 7,900 and 7,899. And that is the two trucks. And these come as a, uh, you know, with the car and the semi. Now the next one, I knew I couldn't go a whole show without phone ringing. Brian Young, Pro Tinker Ties, live. Can I help you? Pittsburgh Joe. Yes. Black one and little cubes. What, Mac? Guessing it that it was Pittsburgh Joe. Oh, is this Pittsburgh Joe? Pittsburgh Dave? Pittsburgh Dave. Oh, you're watching me live? Okay. Well, normally they always complain about the nomads. Oh, okay. What do you mean in the cube? The boxes, you mean this one right here? Oh, you say that that they're saying it's 56? Huh. Well, you know, that's. Yeah, they a lot of people say that, but then they say, well, it wasn't really a production change at GM. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, like a wing. Hmm. All righty. All right, well, hey, thanks. All right, take it easy. Bye. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, I need some more of the, uh, the other, I need a case of the other of these. The other one of those? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the item number is right quick, but we did two of the Bel Air heats and we got the third one coming out in uh, September, which is the blue. It's going to have, which is really going to be cool. It's going to have, it's, it's going to be both of these in one box, but they're going to be blue. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so then we have, uh, uh, never mind, Mac. Hey, Mac. Hey, never mind, I found them. So we have two of the Bel Air heats, and they sell about the same quantities wise. You know, it's funny is when people find these, they go, I didn't know these were available. 
I know I don't have that. Well, how do I get one of these? It, it really is kind of funny. Uh, and then all of a sudden people will say, well, where do these come from? Pro Tinker. Who's this Pro Tinker guy? This guy's crazy. Tinker of toys. Who's Pro Tinker? Now, here's an item that uh, is the last of all of the original exclusives, except for the ones that came out this year. Because all the ones this year are dual between me and the 1500 quantities. But this one is selling extremely fast. And within... This, I, I would wager to say this will probably sell out faster. And I, I wish I had more of these. Which is the Turgel. I just think this is a pretty car. No one's ever done it in HO. And I wanted to do it in HO. That's why. Because I had it in uh, 132nd, but I sold out of it. I only have one left up at the shed. Now, the next set of cars are all our dual cars, which these are still high quantities, which, uh, but, you know, these are selling quite well, the blue and the black uh, 55 Bel Air and Nomad. And then our pickup truck and CP7982 uh, and 7983. The pickup truck and the Nomad, or the Bel Air. The most popular of those cars, of the new cars, is this one. This one is selling like crazy. No one's ever done this. Look at that Bel Air, look at that, look at that Beetle. 7985. 7985. And then the next three are our tune up kits, our deluxe tune up kits. And then, uh, so those are all of our exclusives. And those are available. Uh, most of these are available only at ProTinkerToys.com. Um, we also have our, our deluxe pit kit. So these uh, were, um, I approached Auto World. Guys, this was back in 2020. I can't believe this is already 21. I approached them and said, hey, you need to do these tune-up kits again. And they've sold a ton of these things. See, I think that's why they're, they're, they're happy about me because they've sold a ton of these tune-up kits. Okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, gosh, that's right. Fred Lorenza. I, I, <laughs> I can't. And I also, uh, well, I did Motorific. You're right, Fred's, Fred Lorenza. This one I should have done with the semi. And this is 7989. No one's done this car all by itself or like I did it. Okay. All of my cars, just so you know, because they might come out with these cars later, but nobody has my cars like I did them because I, I made them specially. Okay. And here's what I did. You see that back on the very back bumper? That's the Betsy Ross flag. Betsy Ross flag. That's just a beautiful car. I can't believe I forgot this. Well, I got talking and then that guy called me. And When I get people calling me, I, I, uh, 
I really appreciate you people calling me, but sometimes I wish you'd just wait until I'm done with the live stream. <laughs> I know I don't read all the messages. Uh, highly detailed. They should only West Virginia is body only. They should offer the VW as a body only. You're right, Grim. Keeping the low profile these days, trying to not upset Brian so much. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, Robert, you never upset me, Robert. Okay, it's all a game. I I know it's a game between you and I. Okay, so we have to we have to have an understanding that I'm always right and you're always wrong. And if we have that understanding, Robert, those will all be, everything will be fine. Those, all, all little of those boxes, Brian, what a great idea. Whose idea was that idea? Robert, now how many times do we have to go down this road, Robert, about those boxes? You should have done the General Lee with the Betsy Ross flag instead of the Rebel flag. Uh, why didn't uh, you walk this morning? Okay. Here's the reason. Number one, I really wanted to get an extra hour of sleep. And I just was tired. And it was raining, and I didn't want to really walk in the rain. It really didn't rain, though, after I found out. But I'm going to walk tonight from 6.30 to 7.30. I'm going to walk. Da David and I are going to walk together. So we're going to do that tonight. So you guys can have a wonderful time watching David and I take a nice hawk. And that's on Facebook. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Brian Young. Now, what I'm going to do is, guess what? Frankie is with Kathy in Michigan visiting um, um, I'm going to have me another uh, happy pill. Ah! Oh, these are good. I tell you, this chocolate is great. My chocolate bars are the greatest. Holy cow. Mm, boy. Mm, mm. Now, let's see. What else did I forget? Okay, well, I'm going to show you my favorite, of all the cars here, I'm going to show you my favorite cars, okay? I'm going to show you my favorites. First one is this assortment here. This is my number one assortment. That's my favorite. SC355. Love it. Just love it. SC355. That's my favorite. My second favorite is this one. SC357. Challenger, Mustang, Cuda. Great, great combination. My third favorite This is my third favorite. Now, these are my favorite. You know, you might not have the same taste as I do. 
my taste is perfect. Especially when it comes to chocolate bars. <laughs> SC362. I love these assortments. American Transamerica. I love that car. I love that one. And I love that one. Actually, those are the same. <laughs> the Blue Cuda. My fourth favorite. is Legends of the Quarter Mile. Dick Landy, Wally Booth, and Butch Leal. I love this. SC361. These came out in 21. Now we're going to show you cars that I just like. These did not sell as much as I thought they should because I love these cars. SC 360. Bel Air, 1962 Bel Air, the last year of the Bel Air almost. It's amazing how that changed. This came out recently. This is one of their new molds. We only have the black one now. New tooling is the uh, 70 Blazer. 70 Blazer. And that's SC375. Those came out this last year. Here's another car that I, I love this car. I just, the way they did it. 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429 SC 377, two colors. Light blue, very light blue. And a orange. Let's see, 377. Lovely. Here's another one. Same one from that series. And this is the Pontiac GTO Convertible. Well, they would be these right here. It's funny about the javelins. The javelins are the slowest cars, but they always sell out.
It is funny. Here's an underestimated uh, vehicle. But these are just nice cars. And this is SC368, and these are the Samba buses. Probably the most popular micro bus ever made. Sixty-eight Cuda. I think that's the year I had. And the other car that's really popular is the black and blue. I'm telling you, these are nice cars. And, and once people find out about them, they really like them. And that's the black and blue Ford Torino. Nineteen seventy six Ford Torino. That's a beautiful car. And that's SC three sixty eight. SC three sixty eight. Now moving right along. Oh, here, these, no, we sold a ton of these because they were on sale. But I'm telling you, you should buy these even though they're not on sale. I did lower the price a little bit. Both of these. Chrysler, people love Chrysler, man. 1969 Dodge Charger. That purple one is beautiful, and I love that metallic blue. These sold really fast. Well, on that mold, I don't have the cash right now. Until I get my bill down from Auto World and, and sell out all these uh, exclusives and get myself in a in more positive uh, format, I can't do anything like that. I would love to do them all. I just need to give them the money. The next one. Mm. Mm, I love that chocolate. Mmm. Start skin huts. You need a loan. I charged a reasonable daily interest rate. What what rich what interest rate is that, uh, Kevin? And this is the next one that sold really fast. These are the Dodge uh, Charger Daytona. Deal. Deal. 3%, I'll do it. How much will you loan me? Now, let me go over the recent ones, because they really haven't been given enough. <laughs> okay, very good, Kevin. I like that. Well, you're really nice, Kevin. <laughs> A day.
All right, we're going to put these on sale again. I want to get rid of these. Now, not that I want to get rid of them. I just, I think I love, I, I love the, I love the color. All righty. Okay, I just saved that to the sale. There we go. Okay, so these are on sale for $19.99. I couldn't do $17.76 on them because I still would like to make a, a, a couple dollars a piece. Uh, and that's just because I like the color se sequence. I've told you this before about these cars. I know you guys don't like these, but they're just fun cars to race. And you've got all four cars, which are, are really popular, which is the 19... So you get all four. They're $19 a piece. And these are the uh, Space Jams. You get the uh, 1964 Corvette Grand Sport. Which is number one. Grand Sport. Well, I like that color. And then this one, I really love this color. The Chaparral 2F. And then you have the uh, Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, which is beautiful. And you have the uh, Ford GT40. I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Are you... Uh, okay, what are you asking me now, Grim? Step on it. Uh, they're really popular with the retailer shelf space. <laughs> That's really funny there, Arbuckle.
Okay, got my teeth back in. I, I don't like chocolate, um, especially milk chocolate. Um, because it gets stuck in the top of this plastic denture. Okay, now a new assortment that came out, which is SC385. Which um, you have four cars, which is great. There's only four cars. We, and, and these have been doing pretty well. Um, and there's four cars in this assortment. We have all four of them. And this is muscle car dealership. And you've got the Vega. We only have a few of these left. It's the Vega. <laughs> what on? And then you have the Camaro. The 1966 Nova. And this 1970 Charger. These are nice cars. Now, what's his name? We'll say, nah, yeah, they're shelf spell. Ah. Now we have SC384, which is eight, six cars. I just wish they wouldn't do these assortments anymore. Yesterday, today. Because there's two of these cars. And they just, I mean, the, the purple charger is great. Yesterday and today. So they have 2010, 69, 69. And then you have a 1970 or a 2007 Charger. You can't tell me that looks anything like that Charger here. You know what the problem is? Cars now, I've, and I, I knew this was, is cafe standards have ruined cars in America. You can't make anything good in America anymore. Hi. Somebody needs to do with cafe standards. That's that's the first thing. You know, if you want to enforce your 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 mileage or not mileage, but you know, fuel efficient, I get all that. But get away to cafe standards. That, that's a bureaucratic mumbo jumbo number. I know it is. That is a sweet car. Let me show you that. Because they're the white one too, or red one. I mean, I don't know how you, 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 you just can't make this car ugly. This car is impossibly to be ugly. Somebody should just buy them all the time. It's called Tribal Wars. It's an online war game. You build up villages and resources and certain troops, and you'll try to take over the world with your tribe. Takes about 180 days to win a world. I can do it in about 80 days. Just so you know, Dave, uh, just so you know, Dave Grimms, I can do that in about 80 days. I can win in about 80 days. Yep, about 80 days. I can annihilate my armies in about name. Your name, uh, your name, Brian? LOL. You're the man, Brian. I can do it in 45. Well, I've done it in 10. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, what are the cafe standards? Well, I'll tell you, Ron Henderson, in a nutshell. It was all done in the 1970s. They're basically stupid regulations on how many cars you're allowed to have and what's the fuel economy. And so, uh, you know, what it does is, is it basically, that's why you have these huge trucks nowadays, Okay. And uh, it, it's, it's requirements on, on, on different type of vehicles that you're allowed to have in your, in your, in your lineup. And so then what, what dealers do or what companies do is to get away from those standards is they kind of fudge their numbers in the sense of what vehicles they're making. It's basically a bunch of bureaucrats, and this is the problem with, with bureaucrats, 
is they're making policies that make no sense and that nobody challenges on them. And, and that's why, you know, your Congress, our Congress is absolutely useless. Number one, CAFE standards should be, EPA has is, is gone amok. They just said, hey, we're going to do all this stuff and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, they can't. And that's why they need to do away with CAFE standards. That's why we don't have all these subcompacts in America is because of CAFE standards. Well, what would you think sub, well, no, because see, it has to do with fuel economy and, and, uh, 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 regulations on, on, uh, your, uh, um, um, yeah, the, yeah, you, you need to meet an average M, MPG over your total fleet of cars, which is absolutely stupid. But that's bureaucrats. See, that is, that is literally mind numb idiots in a, an office at the EPA just regulating stuff. Just saying, yeah, that, let's just do this. Having no idea how that's going to affect cars. Cars. That's why in Mexico, I'm telling you, when I went to Mexico and I'm looking at all these subcompact cars, I'm looking at all these cars, all these vans, all these small vans. I'm thinking, why aren't any of these in the U.S.? If everybody is concerned about size and better fuel economy, why do we have all these? Because they don't want, because it doesn't, if they do that, then they're going to screw up. See, they still want to do their big, huge cars. So, if they, and they can fudge those MPG numbers by doing a couple big cars, then maybe a little car. Well, then they can't do the super small cars. I know it sounds absolutely asinine, but because that's what it is. It's just completely stupid, complete stupidity. All right, let me get back to cars here, okay? You guys got me off on cafe standards and everything else. What Camaros do you still have? Like the old style SC382. SC382. Oh yeah, 69 Camaro. Wow, I love this car. This is my another one of my favorites. I told you this was going to sell better than the the uh, Bel Air and this is going to be the next big one right here. Well, reason is that Hot Wheels, you can't have Hot Wheels uh, on any uh, on the world anymore. It's done. Hot Wheels is done. That's why I'm telling people if you, if you, if you see any of my stuff that says Hot Wheels and you want to buy a bunch of it, I'll give you a great deal. Just call me. Just call me. Because all this Hot Wheels stuff is going to be worth a lot of money in the future. If we have a future. <laughs> now here's another nice car. And I didn't realize we had these. Wow. And this is SC379. And these are the norm. These are the uh, Dodge 330s. I love this car. This is the 1960s. This is the, you can tell this is the 1960s. Less government control over cars. They were creative. And then all of a sudden, Ralph Nader had to screw up the American automobile industry. And then the rest of the world followed suit. I wish we'd get rid of cafe standards. Honestly, I, I just, I'm so fed up with the, the bureaucracy. That's exactly what uh, Atlas Shrug, uh, on Ron, said in her book. That's exactly what would happen is people would just, you know, they're, they're getting to the point where you just can't make anything anymore without some lawyer and some bureaucrat telling you can't. And that's not the way it's supposed to be in America, just so you know. So this is the 1979, or I mean, SC379. This is the Dodge 330. We still have these in stock, too. I can't believe it. Now, the other one that we're very low on, matter of fact, I think we only have one left. We only have one of each, and that is the 57 Bel Airs from SC379. Very low quantities. Now, this is another nice one. Now, 
Yeah, that's not the one I wanted to show you. Nineteen sixty-nine Nova SS, the teal and the blue, very popular cars. Very popular. Well, states they're already outlawing it. Well, states are already outlawing it. Let's see. Sounds like fun, Chuck. Soak it up. Some states are already outlawing it. Now these really sell, uh, you know, they don't sell very well, but all of a sudden I get a spurt a bunch of these. These have always been good sellers in the long run. These are the Volkswagen Baja Bugs. And this is SC375. 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 Baja Bug. Bye, bye, backseat. Now this, we finally, uh, we got plenty of these in stock. Uh, I had them restock this. And these are our dragsters. We're the only ones that have dragsters right now. Nobody has these in stock. I have them. Not just a big fan, bug. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, truck, inter, uh, truck uh, Tucker interview with Andrew Tate was good. Yeah, Tucker is just knocking it apart. He is he is shaking up the uh, establishment. Completely annihilating them. Tucker Carlson. These are uh, very beautiful cars. I don't know why they don't sell as much. Suburban Chevy Van SC392. These just came out. 392. Pontiac Firebird, the Studebaker, the Bel Air, the 57 Bel Air. I don't know why these aren't moving faster. I think it's going to take time because these two right here. Now we still have these in stock. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is the first time they've done these in a long time with the funnel or with the pipes intakes SC392 and then the, the other one I think that are that are even prettier <laughs> is the um the Impalas. I mean, you cannot tell me that these aren't, are, aren't cars that you would love to have. These Impalas. Look at these Impalas. You're telling me you don't like these Impalas? 1959 Impalas? Do you know how many of these cars they made in 59? Kevin Carroll, why? What country do you live in, Kevin? What country does Kevin live in? I don't like the blowers on the 57s. Really? No, these are sweet Impalas. These are, I just love these sweet Impalas. And why, okay, wait a minute. I know I, uh, I have friends with dual citizenships and they are moving over here permanently because of what's happening there and what's going on what's going on in what country what's going on in what country oh Can kevin's canadians well the fact of the matter is most canadians if they retire they'll move to a florida 
It's plain and simple. No, I'm an American. Are you sure you're American? You're not Russian? Nine eleven or uh, nine eleven changed everything about Canada. I mean, there was a point where you could just I, all I need is a driver's license, I can get into Canada, and and actually that should go back to the way it was. Okay. Um, all we have to do is 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 just check people. It's called an ID, and uh, you know, and that should be fine. And uh, unfortunately, you know. It, the, 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 the people don't want to think logically. All right, so we are gonna we're gonna step out. Uh, we've got what? How much more time? We got about twenty minutes, and so we're gonna go over to uh, the one thirty second style area. We're gonna go over to um, Scale Electric and just kind of show you some of the newer cars. Um, we're going to be making a big decision about scale electric. I just cannot sell scale electric right now. And, um, that's partly my fault. Uh, but it's really, uh, I mean, scale electric, I was sending, selling uh, back in 2020 before the pandemic. Well, just as the pandemic got started because they had all this inventory in 2020, uh, I was selling a ton of scale electric because their cars were affordable. The problem is scale electric cars are not affordable anymore. Okay, compared to, well, I just dropped that car. <laughs> compared to Carrera. You cannot tell me that this car right here, compared to this car, there's not nothing real big difference this is $44, 39. I could sell it at 39 and still make very good margins. And this is $69. I'm sorry. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. So I'm basically going to be offering this over the next couple of weeks. If you are uh, one of my viewers, if you watch this video and you want to buy You have to buy at least $500 worth of scale electric. I will offer it to you at a very competitive price. Okay. I don't want to say the discount over the radio TV or over the internet, but if you're interested in buying $500 at a time of scale electric, I, I will give you a special price on that $500. So uh, you have to call. Now, obviously don't call right now. You call or send me an email. Okay, or create a shopping cart, get to the checkout, and then stop. And then we will jump in, we'll apply a discount, and give you a special discount. I am no longer going to be buying scale electric cars. I'm sorry to say that. I, I hate to say that. Uh, if I do it, it's going to be one or two cars at a time. I This car right here... Uh, this came out in 2020. This car was, was 49 retail. 49 retail. This same car. Right here. Almost the same car. Okay, that's not, that's not, that's 2020. Well, I don't care. This is the same one. $69. I'm sorry. It's impossible. <laughs> it's just impossible. And, and they're, 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 uh, they're literally killing themselves. And, uh, I don't know what to do. I've, I've talked to, you, you really can't talk to anybody because, you know, the, the problem is they're in a catch 22 with, uh, they're in a catch 22 with, um, uh, um, they're in a catch 22 with the factories, but it, it's not, it's not the factory's problem. It's scale electric's problem because I've told you this many times that the, 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 the British 
Scale Electric wants to make their full margin. And you can't do that if you have an American subsidy. They should be buying, the American company should be buying the Scale Electric cars in China at the same price that the Hornby people are buying in China. But they're not. They're adding an extra probably 40% to the car to get it to the U.S. That's the problem. It's what it is. They can deny it all they want, but that's the only reason why Skill Electric cars are $20 more expensive than a, a Carrera car. You know what I'm saying? Like this bus here, this came out in 2020. All of this stuff up to about, see, they say when they were made, 2020. See where it says 20? That's 2020, Xing Zing. 2020, 2020, 21. So I know which cars came out in 2020 and which came out after 2020. And they just went right through the roof in 2022. Unbelievable. I mean, there are nice cars. I've gone through all these cars before. We got this car right here. Camel F1. It's $69. My Scale Electric numbers went literally in half when they raised their prices to $69. Literally in half. I was selling six to seven cars of Scale Electric. And now I can't. Oh my gosh. So if you want a good deal on Scale Electric, you got to buy $500 at a time. I knew it was going to ring. Buffalo, New York. Pro Tinker Toys. Mike, which Mike? I can't, it came in as New York. I'm sorry. Are you sure, Mike? Are you a, a, a bogus phone call? Plymouth. Huh. Okay. Yeah, just wait until I'm done with the live stream. I'm almost done here. Call back. Well, yeah, go. Okay. No, no, don't do that. I'll, I'll add it to. So you want the, the charger from SC three eighty two. The Camaro, the Hot Wheel Camaro. I'll add that to your car, and then I'll send you an email to pay for that invoice. Okay. okay. All right. I'll do that. Don't worry. Don't 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 create another order. Let me put that on the order, and and uh, we'll do it that way. Okay? okay. All right, buddy. Thanks, Mike. Boy, he's excited. Boy, Mike loves Mike. Mike loves watching. We got a new person watching. Mike, uh, let's see. Wow, my text just got censored for calling Trudeau a I dot. What do you mean an I dot? An I dot. I, I don't understand what you mean censored. I don't see anything censored. Did you, somebody censor Adam Fish? <laughs> Adam Fish. I want to see all the world makes SUV slot cars. I guess uh, he only jumps on my stuff. Uh, true Arbuckle, huge country is hardly any population needs taxes, new citizens. Well, no, and that's my problem. See, I've, I've told you this before. Why? And, and Rob Fish really never answered the question. Maybe he did, and I, maybe I didn't see it. My question has always been with Canada is, why is America 320 million people and Canada is only 40 million people? Can anybody give me that answer? 
I know the answer, but I need you to tell me the answer. Why does Canada have 40 million people and America has 320 million people? Uh, that is what Robert meant. Cold and West. No. Weather? Nah. I don't know. Let's see. Robert Fish. I don't know the answer, Brian. Yes, you do. Too cold. We have, uh, uh, we have a few million in Texas. Uh, uh, they can have, uh, they moved to the U S flies and mosquitoes. Strength of the dollar. No, because here, here's, here's why your, your theory about, um, weather doesn't climb it okay because basically toronto and um windsor are pretty close to 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 michigan which is detroit now detroit was the largest city in america at one time the most prosperous and it had millions of people okay the problem is freedom number one an opportunity now that's not saying that that canada has not had a a constitution that, but it's all about freedom and and property. How easy it, how easy is it for somebody to create something in the country? Okay. Windsor is south of Milwaukee. I know pure can. Do you know how many people live in Wisconsin with in and and in Wisconsin, Wisconsin and Minnesota? <laughs> I'm telling you, a lot. 80% of the country is cold. Yeah, but that's that that's that's given. They live on the same plateau as, as Europe. <laughs> Go look at the map on Europe, okay? Even Europe. I'm telling you guys, it's all about freedom. And the 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 quest and the drive to do whatever I want to do. Canadian has been okay. We don't need to hear that, James Murphy. Wisconsin registered hunters, health system. The health system is a joke in Canada. Okay, they tax people so much. That's one of the reasons too is taxes. Okay, when you tax people, you you are bringing it down so low, low that just people don't want to do anything. And until they wake up, it's never going to change fact those are facts okay i'm sorry to say those are facts now we got one little miscellaneous item that i'm going to put on for sale He's even not even in the system. I don't even have these in the system. Well, I'm going to have to work on that one I, after lunch.
Wow. Clint Eastwood on a, on a, on, he's on, he's making his, he's 93 and he's making a new movie. Look at that. 93. This is so funny. Of course, you got to dress your kid, Adam. You don't let him run around in just underwear. What a nutcase. I won't show. Uh, he was real. He was ready for bed. Oh, really? Like <laughs> crazy. Okay, we got these giant Alamo sets, and they're not even our system. These are sweet. They come with a, a mini Alamo, and you get all the army men to go inside it. I used to love these building these things as a kid. I'd paint all these soldiers. I'd have these huge battles and everything. Okay, let's see here. Uh, at the end, at at the end, he said, "Unbelievable, like you always do." Ha ha ha! Now we know who has been calling you. That's right. That's <laughs> that's right. That's right. Adam Adam has his kid calling me, and he just says, "I go hello, hello, hello." Five minutes left. I know. Five minutes left. Here. You know what? I'll do. I'll do two cars. I'll do two scale electric cars on sale. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is, uh, what car? We're going to put uh, this v bus on. Let's say, let's see here. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can get two cars done real fast here. Okay. Let's see. C4086. Panel van. See, look at that. That's already $44. Boy, that's already on sale. And you know what I paid for? Oh, my gosh. I know why now I'm not selling these things. Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put it on sale for $39. Oh, I know why they're not making any money now. That is unbelievable. If I would if I told you what I'm paying for for these cars for this car right here, okay? Here's a car that I bought recently. 
Here's the old one. If I told you how much I paid for this car compared to this car, you, you'd know exactly why I can't sell this stuff anymore. They've literally priced themselves out of the, out of the stock market. I don't know how I can have stock not listed. Well, trust me. So let's see if this car is at the old prices. It's not at the old prices. That's just it. Come on. Forty two seventeen. Samba bus. See, I got that at the old price. Unbelievable. I'll put that at thirty nine two. Not making any money, but I can't make money on scale electric to begin with. Now here's a new one right here. So let's see what this one is. 4209. Oh my gosh. If I told you, I can't tell you because if I told you what I paid for this car compared to what I paid for the old cars, you would say to yourself, why do you care this stuff, Brian? And that's exactly the point. I've got this on sale at $59. I can't go any lower than that. $59. And I'm not making anything on it. <laughs> and I, I should have known my, I should have known. I should have been a caught of this. I should have. Uh, and I just can't, I can't invest in any more of that stuff. I really can't. Now I'm going to invest. I'm going to tell Daniel to take everything down and not do any more pre-orders on any scale electric cars because it's just not worth it. Unless I only order that many cars that have been ordered. Lost leaders. Yes, exactly. A scale electric made EU styles that just don't sell in the U.S., when was the last time you took Brian's inventory? <sighs> Lost leaders now, as soon as the product arrives, list it. Scale Electric needs to be made to make American hot rods. They do. They have plenty of hot rods. I mean, come on, guys. They got these Mustangs. They came out with four Mustangs. They have the Camaro. They have this Ford Mustang. They have this Ford Mustang. Uh, they have this car here. Where is that Camaro? Right here. They have this one here. They're just too expensive. They're all $69 now. Anyway. Well, guys, I hope today was uh, uh, an enlightening show. I had fun today, actually. I appreciate all the people that are watching. I tried to answer as many questions. Um, and, um, I thought today was a very good show. Um, uh, and we will see you tomorrow night at seven 30 for race night or I'm not race night, but, uh, tech night. And, uh, we will see you, uh, tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget to check out all the things that are on our sale page, 1776. And uh, we want to thank everybody for watching the live stream. Sounds to me, the info, uh, I put the stuff in the system right now uh, at night. Uh, it was a great stream and uh, connection sections. A little too late, say, sassy chassis. Walk tonight. I'm going to be walking tonight. That's right, Facebook. I'll be walking on Facebook from 6.30 to 7.30. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, twas the, I'm terrible at singing, um, bombs bursting in air, gave truth to the light.
that the flag was still there. Oh, say does that flag fly high and all that other stuff. Hasta baby!